Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a couple of TS-22s, and these are sent in by Mike, and I believe he's in New York. That's the... Uh, address I'm getting off the box and he doesn't have an address on his uh, little letter here that he sent me his note and he says uh, he's asking if we repair these Harris TS-22's he's got a few of them that speaker don't work and um, so basically what we've gotten into here is uh, this unit here now uh, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with uh, this TS-22 we're kind of in the middle of a, this is the initial checkout and repair video, but uh, we'll do a check on this. Now, not all of these are created equal. Uh, I have one of these that I do service, I use all the time because uh, we do line work. And um, so anyway, I think he's with uh, some company up there, uh, business, and uh, I guess this is theirs. I'm not sure. Uh, that wasn't really specified, but... Uh, so anyway, what it comes down to is they're not created all equal. Uh, a lot of these will have um, a couple of variations of how they work because they have different ways they built them. And um, on this one, this one's kind of like the one I have. It has two settings for volume level uh, on the uh, amplified speaker. So there's two settings on this one. And there's three settings on this one, so they got a, like a low, medium, and a high, and this one's just got a low and a high. And uh, so anyway, uh, the boards are different in these two. Uh, I know that because I know that this one has three volume setting, and this one has a two volume setting. So anyway, uh, basically what we, it came down to is this telephone here, this butt set, lineman set. Uh, wasn't dialing out properly. It was making a lot of different uh, kind of noises and, and doing things, and it's very well possible that he wasn't getting any uh, amplified speaker on this one. And it all uh, came down to basically this keypad having a problem and this uh, pulse and tone switch here. So I'm going to show you a little bit of what we did. We kind of had to go into this keypad and it's going to be kind of hard to see this probably, but what's happened here, I want to make sure that this uh, magnifying glass is clean. And what we've got here is we had to kind of go in to this board. They have a protective coating here um, that's very difficult to get off, but we had to go into the switch that controls uh, that pulse and tone. But there's a lot of uh, different solder points to that switch. So that switch has um, a lot of different functions that you don't really realize. You would think it's just tone and pulse, but they, they change uh, some things on the board and reroute some things through that switch when you're going through the different modes. But uh, we had to actually go through this board and peel it up in different spots and do some uh, resoldering of that PC board and um, we're kind of doing our final checks now with it. I, I want to make sure that uh, the repair is, is going to be good and uh, so anyway we're going to do some testing here. I want to turn the unit on, flip the keypad around. If you watch the analyzer you'll watch these numbers go by and that's in the pulse mode so we're going to turn it off. They also have an LED indicator uh, in, for the line polarity to make sure that you're on the line per, uh, polarity proper and in this case we are, it's green. We could very well turn that around. It wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't have any difference on what, how the unit's going to work but I'll show you here real quick and now see we have a red light we're just going to go
proper way. And now we have our green light. Now this light goes out when you amplify. So this one has low and high. Low and high. We're going to dial our numbers. Another thing we're going to do, I'm going to end in a 2. I'm going to store a number, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to dial my number. Hit store, and I want to hit recall 1. So now I can hang up, recall 1, and it'll redial that number. Hang up, recall 1. We'll do that one more time. So I basically stored that into the keypad, into the memory. But you can lose them real easy if you hit any of these buttons or do anything, and uh, they won't stay in there. So, uh, you know, if any of these other buttons are hit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dial a number. I'm going to hang up. It ended in a 2. And I'm going to hit last number redialed. And it'll end in a 2. So I'm pretty confident that we have uh, our board straightened out now. Now, you can hear a little bit of humming. That's because, hear that? That's because this model still amplifies when you hit the amplify button, it amplifies the speaker. Now on this unit, this unit, you can hit this button all day long if it's not connected up to something. It has to have a line that it's on or some kind of feed. And if it doesn't recognize a feed or some kind of line, what happens is it's a, it's a battery protect situation. So you could hit this button here all day long and it's not going to have any speaker volume, any amplification, until you put some kind of feed onto the uh, butt set. So basically uh, that's the way this one is designed. Also there's a piezo buzzer in this one because this is a later model. It's a, just a different model. It's a TS-22, but it's designed different. This TS-22 does not have a buzzer in it or, or, or anything like that. So what you have to do, uh, if you're in the field and you know you're using it, you put it on low. And you can, you can put it on low or high in the monitor uh, position on the switch here. And if you get a call that's coming in, you want somebody to ring the line while you're working on the line, you'll be able to hear it. So you can hear that. Might have fell off here. Let me show you that again. That's how you know you're getting a call. And then you can simply answer it. Now, I don't know if the video is picking it up, but if you don't have your amplification on, you can still kind of hear a call coming in. And if you're familiar with the unit that you're using to test things, you know how it works and you get used to it. Um, and like I said earlier, I have a model that's like this. 
uh, in particular. It's, it's some, very, very similar to this unit here. Now, we're going to go ahead and try one more time some of the numbers. It's going to end in a 2. Last number redial. That'll end in a 2. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this line over to a regular telephone line. What you're going to hear here is I'm going to call a time and temp number and you may hear some funny garbled digital noise along in this recording. They've been having a problem with the time and temp number and I think they need a technician. And uh, so anyway, uh, if I call this number and you hear some digital garbled uh, noise, it, it's on their end. It's in their recording. Good afternoon. Today is Monday, February 20th. The time is 2.23. Current temperature at 58 degrees. Mostly sunny today. Highs in the lower 60s, partly cloudy tonight. It's becoming mostly cloudy. A chance of showers. Showers becoming likely late in the evening and overnight with scattered thunderstorms possible. Rows around 40. Mostly cloudy on Tuesday, then becoming partly sunny. Highs in the 50s. Okay. So, We'll call one other number. We'll call my number. It'll be busy. Call one other number. I'm not going to talk to him. confident now that we've gotten to uh, the repair that we needed to get to in the back of this uh, PC board here for the dialing. Uh, there's quite a bit of uh, electronics to that keyboard. There's a uh, little more on that board than uh, what you would normally uh, use as a tone generator. Um, so, you know, they stuck some of the electronics up in this board. And plus you have your memory there for your your last uh, dialed numbers and your stored numbers. So it's a pretty technical little board. And they put a coating on it. It's kind of hard to repair. So uh, they don't repair these at the shop. If you sent this off to the company that made it, they just replace the board. So And they charge you for that. And uh, so, you know, that's the way they do it. Uh, we try to dig into the board and repair it when we can. And it looks like this one's probably okay. It's going to end in a two. Okay, now I'm going to take dial tone away. And I'm going to speak into the handset, transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, some people think these telephones are speaker phones. They are amplified speaker phones. They're not speaker phones where you're going to be able to. Now, some of them are, but most of them are not. When you have amplification here, if you use this as a speakerphone, unless it's a special unit, you're not going to be able to use it as a speakerphone. See, I'm tapping on it. You're not going to have any modulation. And the reason why they do that is so that there's no feedback. 
when you're in the field and you're working on telephone lines, uh, you don't need a bunch of feedback. And so they, they don't usually build these as like speaker phones. I've had customers say, you know, I bought a butt set and I, want, I just thought it was really cool and I wanted to use it as a speaker phone. Well, that's not how they're really set up. Now, do they make one that's a speaker phone? They might. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I work on telephones. I don't really pay attention to what they're selling out there. Uh, all I know is it comes in, we repair it, we send it back out. And uh, so I, I don't keep up on, on what's going on out there uh, as far as what they sell. But uh, usually in the butt set or lineman's phone uh, world, they don't have like a speaker phone per se like you would on your desk. And that's just so that, that you know, that that's one less thing the tech has to worry about, um, you know, to you know when he's troubleshooting lines. So uh, they don't need any feedback when that comes to that. So anyway... Uh, we're going to move this one out of the way here real quick. And we're going to take a look at this guy here. And uh, you've seen this board. You see how that looks. Another thing you want to do, this is a 3-volt battery here. Okay, and then they have a 9-volt battery back in the back here. And you always want to change this 9-volt battery as often as you can because you don't want this 3 volt battery going dead and this 9 volt feeds this 3 volt kind of charges it up and so uh, you, you definitely want to change these batteries as often as you can I'm going to give you a look here we're just going to pull this cover off we're not going to totally take it apart because I'm not finding anything wrong with this one at this point And I want to show you the differences in boards. These are, just because they look alike, does not mean they are alike. They're a lot different. And they made different models of these. Even though they made the same TS-22, basically looks the same, there, there was different variations of them. Now see, this one here, it's got a, it, even though the keypad looks the same, it isn't. Plus here's our piezo buzzer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect this up. Now remember what I said about this uh, speaker, amplified speaker? You can, you can hit it all day long, it's not going to make a difference. Okay, you have to have, on some of these, you have to have it a feed. Now we can do that. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And on monitor, you can hear that. We'll put it on loud. And then with a few minutes it'll shut down because there is no feed. It was a and then here we have our LED and then over here if you had the wrong polarity that would be red. And we'll do that real quick. There's your red. We'll switch it back around. Going to dial our numbers. I'm going to end in a two. I'm going to dial my number. Store. I want to reclaim it in one. Okay, also, last number, let's see if it. Okay, 
On this one, let's try that again. There you go. You want to make sure that you push the, the buttons long enough to figure out what you're doing. Because see, they also have a pause button. And if pause is getting into uh, what you're doing when you're programming, you're going to have pauses. And that's for a PBX system. And so uh, you just want to make sure that you store the number properly. I'm going to do that one more time, only I'm going to do it with the whole keypad. Two. You don't want to do star and pound. I don't think they'll do pound. There's a special way to do pound, so we'll try this. Reclaim it in one. Should do all the way to zero and then two. There we go. My number, hang up, last number redial, should be 2356959. There you go. Okay, I'm going to turn the amplification off. We'll call it the the line phone, the lineman's phone, and you're going to hear this piezo buzzer ring. That's if you have the amplification on. Piezo buzzer will always ring with the, the amp, with the amp on or with it off. I can turn the amp on. Now I want to show you something here real quick. I'm going to take the dial tone away and I'm going to tap on the handset. You see this red light every time I tap on that? That's 100% modulation, so it's picking up my taps. When I put it into the... Uh, okay, our video stopped there real quick. We're getting too much uh, video on the unit. But uh, see, it's not... It muted the, the situation here. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to take some of this information off the video. We're going to come right back. We're going to take a short break, and then we'll do some testing with this. We'll uh, call time and temp, and we'll do some things like that. So uh, we're going to take a short break, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're back, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to finish up some of our uh, checks and we're going to use this unit now and we're going to switch it over to a regular line and we're going to do a couple of calls with it now remember what I said about uh, the time and temp number if you hear any digital garble noise, it's going to be in the recording. It's not the telephone. So let's try that real quick. Thunderstorms possible. 
call my number.
and kind of explained to him that we just didn't find anything wrong with the other one. Okay, let's hook this one up real quick, do a final on it real quick, now that we've put it back together again.